I am so tired right now, okay? It's 2.21 in the morning. Before I start, this video is sponsored by Hollister. I love Hollister. I always love working with them because when I was younger, Hollister was my favorite store. And if I could tell my 13 year old self that I was working with Hollister, they would be very excited. So it's always a pleasure. These jeans are from there. Um, this whole outfit's actually from there. So, yeah, thank you Hollister for sponsoring today's video. Link in the description to shop their jean collection and all their other fun stuff. I think the camera's crooked. It's 2.30 a.m. I'm exhausted, but we're just getting started, all right? We are just getting started. I used to frequently pull all-nighters. I'm talking about like once a week minimum. When I used to pull all-nighters, it was always for either school or work of some sort. Like I was always trying to finish a task and that's why I was pulling an all-nighter. But it was like never fun. But I wanna have a fun all-nighter. Today we're gonna be pulling an all-nighter but we're gonna be doing the most fun and epic all-nighter that has ever happened. And it's happening Right now. Now that I sleep a good eight hours, well, let's not, let's, that's generous. Now that I sleep a nice six to eight hours a night and I don't pull all-nighters anymore, I have no tolerance for staying up. Like, it's 2 a.m. and I'm, I've lost my personality, I don't even know who I am anymore, and this is gonna be tough, but it's not, this is supposed to be fun. Saving the turtles. Let's talk. Like, I consider myself a night owl. I don't really think I'm like a morning person. I am a morning person when I wake up, but like, usually I don't wake up, so I, I don't consider myself a morning person. I like nighttime. I like the vibe of nighttime. I like how nobody's around. I like how the world feels like, uh, it feels like a different world. You feel like you have the world to yourself at night. Do you know what I mean? And I like that. My goal, is I want to stay awake until the sun comes up. There's a lot of things that are open 24 hours, so like I'm gonna check all of that shit out tonight. Good. Um, hopefully I explained that well, because if I didn't, that's all the explaining you guys are getting for today. Me, you, all nighter, summer 2019. Not to mention, I haven't done shit this summer. It has not felt like summer for one fucking second this entire summer. <clears throat> so like I'm ready to feel some summer vibes. Okay. Okay. Where are we off to? You know, I kind of want to check some things off the bucket list. There's like a few places I've always wanted to go, but I've like never had a reason to go to them. One of them is this donut slash coffee shop called Winchell's. I don't know why I'm so infatuated by this donut shop, but I drive past it all the time. It's open 24 hours, and I never have a reason to go in there because there's just no reason to go in there. I'm not really the biggest fan of donuts, but they probably have something in there I could eat. Like, uh, maybe I'll eat a donut, fuck it. Being in stores or restaurants that are open 24 hours at night is like a whole new level of What am I fucking talking about? I'm literally losing my mind. Restaurants and stores that are open 24 hours have one of the most unique vibes and feelings that exist, and I love it. It's insane to me how vacant the roads are right now. Like, you will never see this in LA at any other time. There's one car, one human being. Okay, I actually really like the energy in there. It was really calm, really relaxed. I got my donut, and I got myself a nice hot black coffee. Let's try out the coffee, see if it's any good. Burned my tongue way too bad. 
not bad. You know, I wanted to sit in there and kind of enjoy myself, you know, and enjoy the environment, but there's a few people in there having some sort of meeting. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of intimidated me because I was like, okay, it's 3 a.m. Why are these people having a meeting inside of this donut shop at 3 a.m.? Like something about it felt weird, so I wanted to get out. I want to go to a few tourist stops in LA that I normally don't get to go to because they're normally too busy. One of them being the legendary pink wall. Now, if you don't know what the legendary pink wall is, basically in Los Angeles, there is this wall called the pink wall. A lot of tourists take photos in front of it when they're in LA because it has good lighting and it's like cute because it's like a pink mural. So it's very popular. Getting from one place to another at this hour is too easy. I wanna hate this. I wanna hate it, but it tastes so good. Fuck. Well, would you look at where we are? It's the pink wall, baby. Okay, so I'm here, um, and I don't really know what to do now that I'm here. Also, I can hear the crickets. Listen. Well, now that we're at the pink wall, let's, let's party. I don't even know, like, I might literally get the police called on me. I don't think I'm supposed to have a skateboard out here. I don't care. Pink wall, we had fun. I do love being outside alone right now though, like, wow. Okay. The pink wall was very fun and very exciting because, you know, I got to see the pink wall in a rare form. I wanna do more activities like that. So guess where we're going next? Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive is where all of the high-end stores are in Los Angeles. Like. There's like, they're all on one road. I tend to avoid the area, but it is 3.30 a.m. and I have nothing to lose, so we're going. It would be so convenient if half the world was awake only at night and half the earth, and half of the population was only allowed to be awake during the day. If I run for president, that will be my selling point and I probably won't get elected. How does Rodeo Drive literally look so beautiful at night? Let's get out of the car. This is weirdly so serene. Like, okay, it's 3 a.m., but it's like super bright out. It like, this is something I like, this is such a weird feeling. Like, I'm really enjoying this. You know, next time I'm having a mental breakdown, I'm going to bring a friend here, and I'm going to talk it out with them while walking around on Rodeo Drive. Why am I like having the best time? Okay, I don't know what the point of that was. I did it because I can, so. Every time I burp, it tastes like donut. I'm not complaining. I could get used to this. This is gonna be my new nighttime hangout spot. Oh my God, not to mention the weather is so amazing right now. It's like a perfect 70 degrees. Beautiful. We're off to our next place. Okay, I need a few things. I need water and I need chapstick. I'm pretty sure Rite Aid is open 24 hours. So we could go run into a Rite Aid. One of my favorite things to do, this is very off topic, but one of my favorite things to do while on vacation is go to either Rite Aid or Target or Walmart or one of those places and just go shopping for shit I don't need. I haven't been on vacation in a while though and let me tell you, do I need a trip? Comment down below where I should go. We're on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. I don't know why I keep saying we're in Los Angeles. Obviously we're in fucking Los Angeles. I'm definitely being wary right now of my surroundings, okay? To say the least. What am I in here for again? I need water and I need chapstick. Water and chapstick. Hey guys. 6 Right Rite Aid Hall. I got a smart water. Oh, I got the, wait, they literally forgot to take off the fucking. What am I supposed to do with these? I got two chapsticks. Ooh, nice. This one's very vanilla. <clears throat> Cocoa butter flavor, that could be yummy. Whoa, that is a nice smell. This one's great too. I actually like both of those chapsticks equally, so. Holy shit, I'm tired, okay. I 
I only have like an hour and a half left until the sun comes up. I've done a lot of shit. This whole thing has actually been pretty fun. I'm definitely ready to go to sleep. I mean, as I should be. I'm glad that I'm tired because it means that my all-nighter days are over. Cause like I used to be able to pull an all-nighter with ease. And uh, now I can't, so that's good. Okay, so I'm actually at the grocery store right now because here's the thing. Grocery shopping is a fucking pain in the ass in LA. The lines are way too long. It's so much, it's so exhausting. It's literally 4.30 a.m. right now. If people are grocery shopping right now, that's insane. Although I'm exhausted and like grocery shopping doesn't really sound too appealing for me, Right now, I feel like it would be a productive thing to do. Let's just get it over with. Honey, I'm home. That was a shitty joke. Okay. I'm actually really glad I got to do this because I would much rather do this when it's not busy than when it is busy. So I would do it again, for sure. I really did have a fun time. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed myself. I had a great time. I thought it was, I think that this whole experience has been absolutely awesome and I've had a lot of fun. But I can taste my bed. Recently, I've been really getting into tea, like drinking tea, which is weird because I'm like the coffee, you know, like everybody knows me for liking coffee. But recently, I've been really liking tea. So I think I'm gonna make myself some tea right now while I wait for the sun to come up. I use this detox tea because I think it helps me poop. So, yeah, it's good. I think it's good. Also, I like to put lemon juice in it. I think putting lemon in your tea makes it taste way better. As you can see, it's 5.35. The sun is gonna start coming up in 15, 20 minutes. And I'm literally just gonna stand here until it does, so. I fucking did it. Sadly, there's not a beautiful sunrise right now because it's fucking foggy. It's 6 a.m. We did it. I got to spend some quality time with myself, which I've been needing recently. Actually, I've been kind of lonely recently, but it was still nice. I got to check out some fun shit, cross some things off my bucket list. I'd recommend you try it out if you want. If it seems fun to you, pull an all-nighter with your friends for, you know, that's a good summer activity. I need to go to bed. Really bad. So thank you for watching. Cheers to you. Thank you to Hollister for sponsoring this video and creating these jeans. I love them and they are a great color. Try to make sure you're drinking water and sleeping. Seven hours is the, is the golden spot right there. And I love you very much. Thank you for hanging out with me. 6 a.m. I love you guys, all right, peace. I'm gonna go the fuck to bed. <laughs>